So you have your Apple Watch connected to your iPhone. Everything is going great. All of a sudden, text messages are coming in, emails are coming in, but you're just not getting the notification to your watch as you're supposed to. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to troubleshoot not getting notifications to your Apple Watch from your iPhone. We're gonna give you some tips that you can follow to possibly fix this issue. Let the download begin. Now, if you're new here and you wanna learn how to use and troubleshoot your devices, plus some other cool tech stuff, we can help. All you need to do is hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you don't miss when we release some cool, helpful content. So the Apple Watch is actually a pretty cool device. You use it a lot more than you would expect, especially if somebody doesn't have it, they'll probably say, why do you have a watch? When you start using it, you know why. But one of the coolest things about the Apple Watch is that you get notifications directly to the watch so you don't have to look at your phone whenever a text message or an email comes in. If those notifications stop flowing, we can show you how to troubleshoot that. Let's get started. So one of the first things you want to do is pretty much a no-brainer. You want to go into the watch app itself and check to make sure notifications is turned on. There's actually a switch in the watch app that turns on and off notifications. So if you're not getting notifications, one of the first things you want to do is make sure that switch is turned on. So if you go into the Apple Watch app itself, you go into the notification option and you want to make sure the notification indicator is turned on. You can also check different applications within here if you're having problems getting notifications from a specific application. Yeah, just making sure that these settings are turned on is going to make sure that all the notifications that go to your phone are mirrored directly onto your watch. If the notification switch is turned on the way it's supposed to and you're still not getting notifications in, go ahead and restart both devices. So the way you would restart your Apple Watch is simply just by pressing and holding the side button on the watch until you get that turn off option to appear. Once that option appears, go ahead and slide it off. Your watch will power off. You can leave that off for a couple of seconds. You also do want to power off your phone as well. With the iPhone, you're pressing the volume down button plus the side button. You're holding those two buttons down together until you get that power off option again. You slide that off. You leave both devices off for a couple of seconds. Don't turn them right back on. It kind of defeats the purpose. You want them to completely drain of power, power them back up, and then do a test notification send. Have somebody send you a text message or send yourself an email and see if the notifications appear the way they're supposed to. The next thing you want to do is make sure that the do not disturb option is not turned on on the Apple Watch itself. And there's a couple of options you actually want to check in this menu to make sure you're able to get notifications the way that you're supposed to. So you would go into your Apple Watch, swipe up from the top, and then you want to check that bell option, which is your silencer or notification option. You want to make sure that that's not selected or highlighted in any way. And then you want to go a little bit further down. You're looking for that half moon symbol and you want to make sure that half moon symbol is also not turned on. So one is your notification bell or your notification sound and options. The other one is your do not disturb option. You want to make sure both of these are not selected, especially if you're not receiving notifications the way that you're supposed to. Either one of these can be the reason why it's happening. As long as you're not selected, we'll move on on to the next step. So another thing that users have said that helps them fix the notification issue on their Apple Watch is turning off the wrist detection option. So if you go into your Apple Watch app, you go into the passcode section and you look for wrist detection, you want to go ahead and toggle that off and leave it off and then try to see if you start getting notifications. So the wrist detection is the watch actually detecting the movement of your hand and that can sometimes cause a malfunction in the sensors of the watch itself. And if that sensor is malfunctioning, then you won't get the notifications the way that you're supposed to. So having this option off and testing to see if notifications come in is a good way for you to test if the sensor itself is causing you not to receive your notification. So this actually works on all the Apple Watches. Even though the Apple Watch Series 5 has the always on display, you still want to try this option as a way of disabling it to see if your notifications start to come through. Now, if your notifications do start to come through, try to turn the option back on and see if they continue to come through. If they don't, then you know that there's definitely an issue with your sensor. And at that point, you want to bring the watch into Apple so they can service it for you. So the next option you want to turn off is the cover to mute option and this option is usually in effect whenever a sound or a notification comes in and you cover your watch it'll automatically mute that particular notification so you want to turn this option off as it also can be interfering with you just receiving notifications in general this option is going to be available in your Apple watch app under sound and haptics and cover to mute now you want to do the same thing we did with the last option is turn it off test to see if you're getting notifications in if you are turn it back on and see if notifications continue to come in if they do then it could just be a bug and 
when you're just toggling off and on that can sometimes fix the problem you're getting notification when it's off and again it could be an issue with a sensor inside the apple watch and you want to bring the watch in for service at that point now if none of these options particularly work you want to back up your apple watch and then attempt a full reset on the apple watch itself we do have instructions on how to reset the apple watch i'll go ahead and make sure those are included in the description of this video and also in a card up above so you guys can refer to that video for doing a full reset on the apple watch itself if you follow these steps hopefully this will help resolve your notification issues if you have a troubleshooting step that you took to fix your issue that we didn't share in this video go ahead and share that in the comment section below if you're still having any issues or if you have any questions share that in the comment section as well this video is actually a review we did on the apple watch series 5 comparing it to the series 4 and this video is something that youtube believes you'd enjoy watching thank you guys so much for checking out the video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications so you don't miss one release of cool helpful content like this one until next time, guys. Peace.